Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome to Mobile Wiz Tech. Since Samsung Cloud has a different interface since my last workaround video, I decided to do an updated one for us Verizon Wireless Samsung Galaxy device users who wish to still access Samsung Cloud. Okay, so the app that you're going to need is called Quick Shortcut Maker and I'll have a link posted in the description. So head over to the description, tap on that link, and then download Quick Shortcut Maker from the Play Store. And once you have that installed, go ahead and run it. And you should see a similar screen just like this one. And then on the upper left side, you see where it states activities. Go ahead and tap that. And then tap where it states input keyword to filter. And then enter in Samsung Cloud. And then tap done and then scroll down till you see Samsung account storage and then tap it and then tap the third option and then you're going to tap try and just as easy as that you have now accessed Samsung cloud from your Samsung Galaxy device that's on Verizon wireless and if you scroll down you have your different options that's in Samsung cloud you can back up your phone Check off what you want to back up and just tap backup and restore. Once you get your new phone, you can go ahead and check off what you want to restore from your previous backup and then tap restore. And that's it. So this was my workaround, my updated workaround on how to access Samsung Cloud from your Samsung Galaxy device that's on Verizon Wireless. So hopefully my video is serving as a perfect timing solution for those of you who have a Samsung Galaxy device on Verizon Wireless who had hopes of accessing Samsung Cloud just like the other carriers allow. If you like this video, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.